Yo, yo, Daily Fire episode 301. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, today, Daily Fire episode 301, be obsessed with your daily habits. Man, I can't talk about this stuff enough because it's so life-changing. It, it changed my life forever. I'm actually going to read through and explain, I don't know if I've ever really done this on Daily Fire, some of the Twitter shit I was popping off today. Follow me at Corey G Fitness if you're not. I got some tweet fire going on. So I literally said like, are you obsessed with your daily habits? I am and I'm going to tell you why. My why is super important to me. And once you understand my overall purpose, I probably will make more sense to you. Because what I accomplish in this life will change generations of my family forever. That's my why. That's, that's the purpose. Like, that's what I'm getting up with the fire in my belly every day. Like, that's what I set out to do. And I made this decision when I was young. I want my grandchildren to say grandpa was a G. And where that comes from is I was around wealthy people when I moved to Columbus that their grandpa had set them up. And they knew that their grandpa changed their lives. They knew that what he did and what he persevered through changed everything for them forever. And I saw the way that they talked about him. I saw the way that he was revered. And I thought, that's how you change generations. You have to be the guy or the gal that makes that type of change. And I said, I'm Corey motherfucking G. And that's the intensity in what I operate. And so when you hear it, like some people will go back and forth on, on cursing, right? They're not in. But when I say I'm Corey motherfucking G, you feel different. I'm not just Corey G. Like I have an expectation on myself. Like it's different. And you need to understand that it's different because that's what it takes. And I said early on, I understood that I wasn't special. I'm not fucking special. And I think that helped me out a ton. It helped me out a ton because I knew the only way I was going to win in this life and achieve my why was outworking people and being consistent. Did you hear what I said? I have to outwork people and be consistent. Those are the two things that was going to allow me a chance, which I haven't all the way done yet, but a chance to achieve this why. And I started getting obsessed about these things about 15 years ago. So once I figured out, and this is a huge point, no one was going to save me and no one was going to put me on. I started, fig I started, I started figuring it out. Like, yo, these are multiple things in my daily life. I'm going to have to add and subtract because it's on me. It's on me to figure it out. And because of my consistency and how locked in I was, I was able to get actual results and feedback and then make changes. I continued this process until momentum started happening for me. They started happening inside and outside the gym. And I knew I was the fucking conductor. That luck is created. Do you hear me? It's on fucking you. You are the conductor. The luck is created by your preparation, by your action, by your fucking work. No one else's. So I prepared my mind daily to help me battle through the outrageous challenges I've had that only a lot of people up close to me know. But the reality is I got through them because I believe in myself. The shit is not fake. I earned it. I have to continue to earn it every day. And I feel that way every fucking day because nothing in this life is given. It's only earned. And when guys I work with come to me and say, thanks G for this, I immediately say, nothing's given, bro. You earned this. I'm not giving you no fuck. I'm not giving you a fucking chip shot. Like you over delivered and earned it. That's why you're in this position because I trust you because you, I know what kind of work I'm going to get. We all got to fucking come up with it and earn it. I have aspirations to be great one day. That's why I do what I do. I'm a practitioner. I live it. I breathe it. It's me. It's not my fucking hobby. It's my life. My body of work and a lifelong pursuit, they burn daily. Let me read that one more time. I have aspirations to be great one day. And you should too. I'm a practitioner. I live it. I breathe it. It's me. This is not my fucking hobby. This is my life. My body of work and my lifelong pursuit is deep. 
I took that blue collar work ethic and applied it daily. I keep that in the forefront constantly. I go off script for a second. That's why this shit is tattooed all over me. And like E.T. says, I don't kind of want it. E.T. has a famous speech where he says, I want it. I don't kind of fucking want it. You're not going to like misunderstand what I'm about. You can hear it in my voice because my actions on the daily basis show this. This intense focus has allowed me opportunities and to live my dream. So I hope what I'm saying today makes sense. I want to make sure you understand what it takes. It's a relentless pursuit. It's exciting. It's challenging. It's a life of ups and downs, but it's a life that's mine. I hope I get an opportunity to be great one day. And if it doesn't happen, you know why I'm okay with it? Because when I'm on my deathbed, I'll never ask myself if I tried hard enough. I already know the answer. See you tomorrow. Daily Fire Episode 301. We out, baby!